It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Come with me. Great. Relax. Gargoyles are gone from Gnome Island. Mata one tough fucker. We'll save world now, no problem. Who told you about that? Patty. She always talking about Mata. She is. What did she say? Things Jeff are not allowed to tell Mata. Not allowed? You ungrateful little bastard. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be... Oh. All right. Maybe I'd rather not know anyway. Mata smart. You think? Is this a likely spot? Hmm? No. It's unlikely the gargoyles would pick a human city as their breeding ground. I think we can safely cross Caldera off our list. Fine by me.
Another pirate. I don't like seeing more than one in such a short time. Why? Who do you see? A man by the name of Garcia. Arrived in his ship a few days back. Said he had an important message for the High Council. Acted the nobleman. But I knew he was cutthroat scum. What was the message? Oh, he wouldn't tell me. Only the Council, he says. Said it was very important and from Mara herself. Where's he now? No idea. He sailed a few days ago. You could ask Carlos, I suppose. Go, please. Go on. Get out of it. Rather you than me. Shoulder arms. Let's train. Watch closely, men. You show it. <laughs> Have him. That wasn't enough. That was brutal. Wasn't too bad a workout, was it? Next time, hero, it'll be different. Let's train. Watch closely, men. Why are we waiting? Do it! <clears throat> nice one! At last! Stand to!
Well, did you find it? And more. I found the weapon, the one Steelbeard was after. Steelbeard's dead. But he told me this is one of four artifacts. Combined, they've got the power to kill Mara. Then you are in more danger than you know. Why? Because the High Council is about to sign a treaty with Mara. What kind of treaty? A peace treaty. And all magical artifacts we have must be handed over to her. She promises in return to let us leave in safety for Arborea. And the fools actually believe it. Sebastiano has been charged to take the artifact from you. He's already tried. I suspected as much when I saw which ship you sailed in on. Perhaps best you spare me the details of how you acquired it. I concern myself with the ends rather than the means. How could this happen? There's five on the Council, but only two who really make the decisions. Morigato of the Traders Guild and Commandant Corrientes of the Protectors. Corrientes is away, though, and Morigato is running the show at present. When Mara's emissary arrived, Morigato insisted on greeting him alone. What emissary? The pirate Captain Garcia. He and his men have allied themselves with Mara. Pirates sailing into harbor under flags of truce. I've seen it all now. Where's Corrientes? On an expedition to Arborea. He left not long after you did. What about this Morigato? What does he want? What does any rich and powerful man want? Even more of the same. He'll do whatever it takes to get what he wants for himself and his guild. I need to find Garcia. What for? He's got one of the four magical artifacts. After the negotiations, he visited Caldera before he sailed off again. Who knows where he might have gone. Maybe in Caldera you can find clues as to where he went. Caldera it is, then. You should start with Morigato. There's definitely a link between him and Garcia. The guard will open the gate, I'll see to it. Watch your back in there. Open the gate by order of Carlos. Very well. Typical. Get rid of one pirate and along comes another. How many of you? Hang about. Don't I know you? I don't know. Do you? Yes. I was your rum supplier. Don't you remember? Weren't you fired? Well... Those bastards. Well, if I can help, you say the word, mate. Do you know how I can get to the High Council? Just down there. But it won't help. There's no way they let you in. Let me worry about that. You know where Maragato's house is? Cross the bridge, first on the left. Can't miss it. Council was right to ban them from Caldera. But the Crystal Monastery won't protect us forever. They said we're sailing to Arborea soon. They'll keep their word. I know. Just be another wall there. The High Council will choose peace, then all this trouble will finally be over. Peace? Haven't you seen what's happening in the North? Peace? Peace is our only hope. Watch this, as the Empire sent us another pathetic refugee. If you're after a job, I've got some crates that need hauling. I look like a refugee. Ah, sea rat, are you? You're not the first pirate to come here. There's other pirates? You heard of Captain Garcia? He was here. Then Morigato took him up to the High Council. And? And nothing. 
politics, none of my concern. That's the High Council's job. My job is shifting crates. So what's in the crates? You pirates. Nothing worth stealing. Sugar, mostly. From Takarigua. It's keeping track of what comes in that's the real bugger. How can they send us the wrong number of crates? How hard can it be? If I ever find that fool on Takarigua, I'll shove his abacus up his ass. Who's on the High Council these days? You really did just crawl out of the sea, didn't you? Five members. Headed up by Scholar Custodio. There's Puko for the farmers, not the sharpest. Godin, a craftsman. Commandant Corrientes, of course. And Morigato, for us traders. He's the real power. So you better play nice, pirate. And the council makes all the decisions. That's just the way it works, sea rat. Don't ask questions. Shiny. Oi! Where do you think you're going? My master Azuro doesn't want to be disturbed. Got business here, have you? Is this Morigato's house? It might be, but you don't look like you've got an appointment. If your name's not in the book, you're not getting in. I'm here regarding an important matter that concerns Master Morigato. Mark my words, if he hears you try to keep me out, he won't be happy. Uh, yes sir. In you go. Yes? I want to see Morigato. Who shall I say is calling? No need. I'll find my own way. In that case, my master is upstairs. What do you want? I'm here about Garcia. And? Where? I don't believe that's any of your business, boy. He was here on important state business. That's all I'm prepared to say. You're lucky to get even that much, so be off with you. Don't disturb me again. I don't have time for riffraff like you. Your meeting went well, I trust. Nice. Perhaps you're lost. I hope so. I'll notice if something goes missing. No, I haven't got time right now. The Inquisition's recruiting. They say they want brave men. That rules you out. You saying I'm not up to it? You get seasick, and you can't even fire a musket straight. How about I use you for target practice? Oh, come on. I think you should stick to being a field hand. We'll just see about that. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the one who got himself expelled. I see word gets around. What was it again? Conduct unbecoming an officer. Is there a problem here? No, not at all. And what are you supposed to be doing? Enlisting new recruits. If you're still on our side, you can give me a hand. Y you really think I'm the right man for that job? Once Inquisition, always Inquisition. After what they did to me? Well, if you won't do it out of loyalty, then maybe you'll do it for gold. Hmm? The Commandant pays a reward for every new recruit. I'll give you a cut of it. 
what do I need to do? Well, press ganging's been banned, unfortunately, so we have to be more subtle now. You see a likely recruit, you go up to them and start talking. Convince three men to join up, then we're in business. What about women? <laughs> in the Inquisition? Have you been drinking? It's just an idea. <laughs> just make sure you don't let the Commandant hear that. He's very traditional-minded, our Commandant. What sort of recruits are you looking for? No riffraff and no servants and the like. Try normal citizens and workers. Got it. I'll help you. Excellent. Sign up three recruits and you'll get a reward. You'd be a perfect recruit for the Inquisition. You think so? I had thought about joining. Then why don't you? Well, does it make you popular with the, um, ladies? I can see you have noble intentions. Everyone in the city relies on the Inquisition to stay safe. And trust me on this, the women just love the uniform. So... Right. Where do I sign up? Sign up for the Inquisition. You're a member of the Inquisition? Really? Well, I used to be. That good, is it? You need to work on your sales pitch, mate. Hey, don't go! I know I don't exactly look the part, but I am. I've fought for them for years. And what were you doing all that time? You're saying I'm a coward. Are you a coward? No, of course I'm not a coward. Then what's your problem? I don't have a problem. So, I guess I'll be joining up then. Damn, how did that happen? I am reporting for duty. Lovely. Name? Elfidelo. Can you hold a musket, Elfidelo? Well, er, uh, I... Not to worry, you'll manage. Sign here. All right, I'll come and get you when we're ready. Name? Marco Antonio Pavaretti de Venga. Right. Marco it is, then? No, no, my name is Marco... Moving on now. Got any special skills, recruit Marco? Well, I received instruction from a private tutor. My parents wanted me educated as a... Uh... I'll just put down standard. Shall I? Off you go. We'll let you know when we're ready to go. Enjoy interrupting a busy man, do you? You the man with the guns? <laughs> Good eyes of you, then. Although Master Godin is the gun expert, really. Me? I just turn his ideas into reality. Who's he? Who's he? Only a genius when it comes to improving any kind of firearm. You know, double wheel locks. That was his idea. No wonder they gave him a place on the High Council. Men and their toys. They'll be comparing muzzle sizes soon. I have to get into the High Council. The only time I've been there is when Master Godin has had a task for me. If you're not a member, you'll need a sealed letter. Try talking to Morigato. Maybe you can enter his service. Do you sell weapons as well? To you? Hmm. Well, you're not officially one of us, are you? You'd have to bring me a written application, signed and sealed. Or I could just pay now, in gold. Yeah, that works too. Do you want to trade?
Is there anything you can teach me? Master Godin's a far better teacher than me. But if you're looking for faster reloading times, or you want resistant tension springs installed, then I'm your man. Teach me something. What do you want to learn? Can I use that workbench? Can I use that workbench? You should be helping the Inquisition. Look, friend, I just got used to not almost being dead. No chance I'll be putting my life on the line again. Why don't you let me help you? Why don't you piss off? Not now, later. Join the Inquisition. Be the best. Lopez has found himself another mug, has he? Save your breath, new boy. I've heard all that be the best bullshit before. Maybe, but do you know what else is in it for you? Go on then. Impress me. There's regular money. Regular money sort all used to me when I get sent out into the jungle where there aren't any taverns. You get fed and watered for one thing. Yeah, if you can call thin soup food. You get a musket for starters. No, you don't. Only protectors get muskets. New recruits get sabers, that's all. That's not true. Each new recruit is trained to shoot a musket, his own. You sure about that? Ask Lopez if you don't believe me. Maybe I will. Here are your recruits. Well, I'll have to get the paperwork done on them, but uh, fair's fair. Here's your reward. So, who's next? So, name? Andre. Did you mention I'd get a musket? Ah, sharpshooter, are you? I'll make a note of that. That's all for now. You'll be hearing from us. This will all end badly. My husband thinks the same. I don't want anything to do with this. That's what my husband says. It's not good. Not good at all. That too. Perhaps you should talk to him. Yes, perhaps I should. How may I help you? I need a place to stay. You're in luck. I've a room free. However, I only let the rooms long term now. I'm not planning to stay long. You say that now, but a week goes by faster than you think. Mind you, Garcia didn't stay long either. All right, I'll make you an offer. Garcia? He was here? Yes, he rented a room and then left without any warning. He didn't even return his room key. Can you imagine? Who else is staying here? Well, there's the tailor, Pantaleo. He's looking to set up in business here. And we've got De Silva staying. 
He's a very busy man. Doesn't like to be disturbed, so don't bother him. I'll take the room. Lovely. It's upstairs and to the right. I'd like to stay in Garcia's room. Why? You already have a room. You'd better not touch anything. Oh dear, what have we here? That outfit of yours just won't do. And you are? Pantaleo, tailor to Caldera's gentry. What have you got in stock? What does Sir want? Silk? Velvet? Lace? Hmm, or perhaps something a little more rugged. Yes, I'm really not sure lace and ruffles is quite your thing. Wait, you live in the hotel? Oh yes, just recently relocated to Caldera. I did have a nice little place out in the country, but, well, with the war and everything. So here I am. Lucia looks after me very well. Ever bump into Captain Garcia here? That dreadful pirate? He had the room next to mine in the hotel. Real riffraff. But he was here as Morigato's guest. A real gent, Morigato. One of my best customers. If he's inviting pirates here, then there must be a good reason for it. Anything else I can do for you?
Hey, you stay away from my workers. They're crate carriers, not cannon fodder for some army. Then I guess you'll have to help. I don't need pirate scum in here upsetting things. More of you lot here is the last thing we need. Isn't there something you should be getting on with? Hey, what are you doing? What? Sorry, are you talking to me? That altar, where'd you get it? From the Sword Coast, of course. Where else would I find such a fine specimen? I brought it back to find out more about the Savager's magic. Now that all the mages have been banished, it's up to us scholars to conduct the vital research. Vital research? Of course. The natives there worship the Titans as gods. So by studying their magic, we may find a way to defeating the creatures. The mages, why were they banished? Why? Because of what happened to the old empire, of course. It was all their fault. You know, when Inquisitor Mendoza and his followers released the Titan Lord Ursagor. And it went on to cause so much destruction during its battle with Ismail. This is dreadful. Don't they teach anything to you young people these days? Anyway, the Council banished a lot of them for not being able to stop any of it. And is there? Well, so far I've found a spell that allows them to control the thoughts of others. It's my theory, the Titan Lords use this to maintain direct control over their servants. If I can unlock its secrets, then perhaps I can find a way to counter it. Voodoo, it's all mumbo jumbo to me. Well, the Savages do try to keep its secrets to themselves. You wouldn't believe the trouble I've had trying to learn more about it. I've managed to synthesize a few of their potions, though. What do you know about voodoo potions? Only a little, so far. Your research, you probably use a lot of different materials in your work. Oh, very many. I don't always need them all, of course. Do you want to trade? I've usually got a few surplus items that I sell to others. Research is expensive, and the Council's grants are never very generous for such vital work. Let's see what you've got then. Forgive me, sir. I couldn't help overhearing. You were asking after Garcia. What's it to you? Nothing, sir. But it may be of interest to my master. So who is he? The merchant, Azoro, sir. He would be happy to invite you to his house for a talk. About what? That would be a private matter between the two of you, sir. Is this some sort of trap? Perish the thought, sir. It better not be. I assure you, sir, my master wishes you no ill. 
Okay then, let's go. Follow me, sir. My master has been expecting you, sir. Up the stairs, then the door on the left. Ah, so you accepted my invitation. You wanted to speak with me. I heard you were interested in Garcia. Yes, that's the bastard I'm after. As I'm sure you know, Morigato got him in to see the High Council. Garcia offered the Council a peaceful settlement. What's this got to do with you? Garcia is your affair. I care only about Morigato. Cut the crap. What is it you want, Azuro? I should like to propose a deal. I'm listening. You want to know what Garcia is up to? Well, I can help you gain admittance to the Council building. All I ask is that you do me a certain favor when you get there. How are you going to get me in? Agree to my terms, then I'll tell you. What is this favor, exactly? Morigato is not the gentleman everyone thinks. In business, his methods are dubious, to say the least. But he holds a seat on the council, and I cannot move against him without proof of his wrongdoing. All right, deal. But how are you going to get me into the building? It'll be difficult, since you're not a member of the council. But a messenger may easily gain admittance. You will pose as Morigato's messenger. Do I look like a delivery boy? We can easily fix you up with more appropriate attire. The guard will let you in, provided you carry a letter bearing Morigato's seal. What do you mean, more appropriate attire? Go to Pantaleo the tailor. He can provide you with messenger's clothes. Where do I get a letter bearing Morigato's seal? That will be harder to arrange. I will write the letter itself, but you must acquire the seal. What? You expect me to steal it? Just how you acquire the seal is none of my concern. But no, I can't imagine how one would do so by legitimate means. Not that that should trouble a pirate such as yourself. Well, where does Morigato keep his seal? At his house. I can't tell you any more than that. At his house, you say? Come to me as soon as you have it. Then we'll be in business. Shiny. Off to. Excuse me, please.
I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. Can I get you something? Excuse me, please. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. I'm relying on your skill and your discretion. Not now, later. Hey, you! See what I've got here? Pirate sabres, fruit from Arborea, parrots from Takarigua. See anything you like? How's business? So-so. Takarigua's sugar is where the money is right now. Only that damn Morigato's got a monopoly on it. How do you manage that? How do you think? Because he's on the High Council. Ah, uh, I see. And now he's letting pirates into the city. Pirates? Whatever next. Tell me about it, miss. Corrupt. That's what I call it. I bet one of them was Garcia. I don't know. But he was here long enough to need to stay in the hotel. And he was in the High Council building. Can you believe it? Here. On me. A room key from the hotel. For me. Make yourself at home. Oh, thank you, sir. Very generous. I knew right away you were a gent. Not like that bloody Morigato. Just enjoy it. I'd like to stay in Garcia's room. Why? You already have a room. I gave it to Posadino. He's staying there now. That was a generous thing to do. I'll get Garcia's room ready for you. No need. Just give me the key. As you wish. But the price is the same, even if the room's not been tidied. That's not a problem. Here's the key, but be careful with it. It's the last one. It's the room next to De Silva's.
I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. I need a messenger's outfit. Ah, you found a position. Then you'll need a coat. And then there's the shoes to consider. Just the coat will do. I've got one in your size. My, what broad, firm shoulders you have. I'll take the messenger's outfit. Then try it on. You look ridiculous. The sacrifices I have to make to save the world. Ah, yes. It's a little tight across the chest. Such muscles. Do you work out? This won't take long. There. That should do it. <laughs> 